Multi-Echelon Optimization Have you ever wondered how you could reduce your inventory levels within your distribution network while at the same time ensuring high availability? Using the multi-echelon concept, now you can. Your inventory could be reduced by up to 20%. How does it work, you might ask? Let's have a look at an industry example. This is Mr. Weber. Mr. Weber is a supply chain manager. He is responsible for a large network of warehouses. Like many other supply chain managers, Mr. Weber is under significant pressure to reduce his costs. He realizes that a lot of money is tied up in inventory. Along the way, Mr. Weber has attempted to reduce his inventory levels within his network. However, he has not been able to find a lasting solution. In order to understand why Mr. Weber has not been successful, let's have a detailed look at one of his warehouses. This particular warehouse is managed by Mr. Fisher. The warehouse serves the customers at the end of the supply chain, for example, Mrs. Turner. Mr. Fisher, much like his boss Mr. Weber, is focused on reducing his costs. In the past, Mr. Fisher tried to reduce his costs simply by reducing his inventory levels. This was, however, not the optimal solution, as the availability for certain items became an issue, and customers such as Mrs. Turner were not satisfied with the resulting service levels. After realizing his mistake, Mr. Fisher decided to optimize his inventory levels. Using a specialized software system, he was able to keep his inventory low, while at the same time meeting the requirements of the customers at the end of the supply chain. Mr. Fisher's retail warehouse receives its stock from a regional warehouse, which is supplied by a central warehouse. The entire network is built upon these three basic levels. Mr. Weber has decided to implement IT-supported inventory optimization in every warehouse in order to ensure that all nodes within the network are properly provided for and to help maintain optimal stock levels. Mr. Weber now has every reason to be satisfied with the operation of his supply chain. However, the costs still seem too high. There is one aspect he is overlooking. The level-for-level level optimization excludes the opportunity for further optimization across the entire network. Decisions made in one warehouse reduce further options within the entire network. Unfortunately, Mr. Weber is out of ideas. There is a concept that can help Mr. Weber further reduce inventory levels across the entire network. Multi-echelon optimization. The inventory found within each of the three levels, or so-called echelons, are no longer successively analyzed and optimized, but rather as a whole. The central question here, is it more cost-effective to store inventory at the beginning of the supply chain or at the end, close to the end customer? Or is it best to have the stock spread across the entire network? The software solution Add one tests all possible inventory configurations and takes into consideration factors such as storage costs and capacity limits across all warehouses within the network. The result is an optimized allocation of stocks and an overall reduction of inventory within the network that is up to 20% lower as the successive optimization results. This can all be reached while maintaining maximum availability for the customers at the end of the supply chain. At the end of the day, Mrs. Turner, along with all decision makers within the network, can be thoroughly pleased with these results.